Hello my beautiful butterflies, how you doing? I hope you're all doing well. I am going to be doing a get ready with me now. I had one of my subscribers wanting me to do a rainbow look um, from, whoops, sorry, <laughs> from my James Charles Morphe X palette. This is what it looks like. But today I'm not going to do the um, the eye, the rainbow eye look. I'm going to do a different eye look. Um, I believe I may do maybe like a pinkish purple eye look. I'm not for sure. But I w do want to test this out. Um, I haven't used it. I just swatched some of them. And I would say they are pretty powdery. Um, but I want to try it out. Now there are um, about two new products on here. Let me see if I can get this. That are on here and um, on my table that I'm going to be using. But I'm not going to show you them because I have not done a video um, like a haul on them. And so I want to leave it as a surprise so that that then I can do a video and show you what I got. So if you want to see this get ready with me, stay tuned and let's get into this video. Okay guys, let's get started. I am first going to put a moisturizer on. I'm using the Olay Regenerous Whip. I also need to do um, a video on like what I do for my skin so keep an eye look of that so coming soon and this is not the last time that I'm going to be using the James Charles palette I will attempt to do a rainbow eye look but today I'm not going to do it so you want to make sure it's on your face and you want it want it to set like soak in your face so I'm going to take my little fan here that I got the Dollar Tree like I think a few months ago and I absolutely love this and then the next thing I am going to um, put primer on and also I'm going to be using a blur stick too okay so the next product I am going to be using that I have not tried yet um, before I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio this is what it looks like I got um, this out of one of my subscription boxes so I have not used it you can tell I have not used it so we will see how this does again this is a face primer and i'm going to put use a blur stick too because um hold on big one that's enough I'm sorry if you hear the dogs in the background. They are, um, I don't know what's going on. Let me go get them and take them outside, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. If you hear the noise in the background, my dogs are outside. Just being dogs, okay? So, I got that. It's all soaked in my skin. Now I'm going to be taking, and this is the first time I've used this. This is the Milk makeup blur stick I got this out of my Fafit Fun and I could buy I could buy it on their um, site 
Um, let me see if I can get this. There we go. So it looks like this. So I am going to use my mirror here. And put it on okay this is my first time ever using um milk products and if you use it um these products i know i i see them at sephora i think they made some at Ulta, but i know they definitely sell them at sephora whoops well we can get it on there here i'll just close it up like that and i'll mess with it later so that is on and now we're going to go in with the foundation um uh, i need a no, I'm itchy. Um, hold on, guys. Let me see if I can get something to open this. Well, I guess I'll just have to open it. Now, this one I cannot show you. It is a foundation. And like I said, it's not like a new, new foundation. But I've always wanted to try it. And, um, so yeah, I want to go to Goodwill because they sell Target items in there. And a person I watch, her name's Jennifer, I guess they, they do the same thing at her Goodwill. And she found expensive makeup there for really, really cheap. And I want to see if I can find, um, the same makeup and not same makeup but expensive makeup there like tart or or what they sell at, the, um, at target and that would be really really awesome so i'm first going to start off with this perfect face bare min mineral um brush it has a little hole in the center of it and that's where you put your foundation um, this probably will, um, uh, match me, so we will see. It does have a dropper. One. Oh, that literally soaks up in there. Two. We will see how this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Before I do that... I need to do my under eyes. Hold on. Let's do this really fast. Uh, okay. Because before I put this, this needs to be on. Now, this stuff is by NYX. And it helps with, um, the purpleness of your eye. So hopefully, I'm going to put some up here too. I will um, bring you in closer. I couldn't find my, um, what was it called? My, per my orange one that I 
sometimes use. I can't find that, so I had to look for it somewhere. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I've been busy. Got a doctor's appointment. And everything. So I got that. Now, let's get to this. I may have to put more on here, so we'll see. Well, that didn't even show up. Hmm. <gasps> Um, in the comments, let me know if what this um, foundation is, what you think it is. I'm going to put it on my eye, too. I will tell you that this can be a light to um, full coverage, depending on, like, how many drops you use. I will take my beauty blender and kind of like stamp it in my skin. So then Woo! I like really white. Well, this is porcelain. It's the lightest color that they had. Just so that you know. And this place that I got it from, it's called Peebles. Um, and I don't know. It's like P-E-E-P-L-E-S. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Well, we have one. And they are closing down but they're going to be making it into another store and it, it, they said it's going to be like a TJ Maxx but it's not going to be named TJ Maxx I don't know what the name of it is um so yeah I wish they would build like a target here because that would be really really cool don't worry, I look white as a ghost, but I am going to be put more makeup on, so. Um. Yeah, you could do a light, medium, or full coverage on this, so. Let me bring you in. So far, this is what it looks like. So this would be considered full coverage, but let me tell you guys, like, I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Did I not get a... Hold on. Don't think I got a concealer stick, but I, I swear I did. Let me see if I can find my concealer stick. Ooh, cause I thought I I thought I had one. Let me 
I, oh, let me take my beauty blender. And I just want to... Pounce it. To make sure... Ouch. It is really good in my skin. Okay. And why are you doing that? Okay. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution and C1 concealer. And I'm going. To do this eye first and I'm also going to put some here here and then again over here so I just want to try something different um so well that didn't that just soaked that up I can't have that um what did do this let me put a little bit more that just like took that off, that beauty blender. So you can see that it spread it, it spread out. You can still see it. If you like these types of videos, thumbs them up. Share this video if you would please. Because when you share this video it's good because it will allow um, others to watch it and also if you're not already my eyes are watering uh, if you're not already Please subscribe. I need a little bit on this. Like, it seems like the thing soaked it up for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, please subscribe and join the beautiful butterflies. And, and become a member of the Butterfly Clubhouse. I came up with that. Because since I like butterflies and we're all beautiful no matter race, sex, um, uh, gen, like origin, disability, we all matter. Ah. I need to do a video of the updated what is going to be in the boxy um it's going to be like kind of like another boxy charm giveaway but there's other things in there that's not boxy charm related so I ha I'm gonna wait till I get those subscription boxes and then do a video and show you everything that is in there so the next thing I'm going to take is the Seattle London Extra Nor Extra Extra I can't say it. 
extraordinary here you miss it it's a translucent powder so now I've not used this it looks like this so pretty and then oops got it upside down that's what it looks like I like see out the London um, products they are pretty good now I hate it when they put those stickers on and then you have to try to get it off yeah let me see if I can take the I got my nails done. Let's see. The thing of it is, is you get your nails done. Oh, here's a tab. It it's aggravating because you can't open anything. And I don't know how like these people with these like six inch nails are like all the way out here how they can function and do things like hold on guys i'm getting it i'm getting it because just with these little nails i can't even get anything open okay uh, come on there we go there we go. Finally. Sorry guys. Like just with these short nails. I can't. Um. Do anything. Oh. I should have done my eyes first. I was going to do that. I was going to do my eyes first. Um. Before I put my rest of my makeup on. So I'm going to put extra powder under my eyes. So then when I'm doing my makeup, my eyes especially, I can just wipe the mess up. So there's one eye. I'm going to set the rest of my face. Um, here in a minute. But yeah. I was meaning to do my eyes first. Because I was going to use... I, w I was going to use... Um, I was going to use tape so I can get like a wing look. Okay, so I did that. So now I'm just going to take this brush right here, pick up some of this powder, and just set my. And of course I didn't do um, the concealer here and here, but that's okay. I'll do it on the next video. And then I'm just going to let this set. And then after I get done with my eyes, then I am going to do the rest of my face. So just to let you know. Ooh. I wish I could get Botox. Wonder how much it is. To like get Botox to fill in this area and right here. And maybe a little right there. Because I have um wrinkles and the reason I do like because when I was younger 
Um, I didn't wear, oops, shoot, sunglasses, so I was always, like, squinting. I swear. So that's why I have that. That's why I can't wait to get my contacts, which I, or which I got my glasses, thank God, goodness, I ordered them. So... They will be coming soon. And I cannot wait to um, model them off for you guys. Now I got white powder everywhere. It's going to look like I've been doing something illegal around here. That's that's what you do when you get um, into makeup. Okay, now I'm going to put try putting on this NYX eyeshadow base because I'm going to be working with bright colors. And this is, I can't find my white one, um, but this one is the white pearl. And... I don't know what I did with the straight white one that that would be really good. If this does not show up, then I'm just going to put my MAC um, stuff on my eyes. So I need a brush to put this on. I guess I can use this brush right here because I can't get my fingers in there. So I'm just going to put, and you can see me. Uh, I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. And when you're working, with bright colors, you do want to have a base down. And it's good to have one of these because it will make your colors pop and when you have this down do not set it okay just go ahead and do your eyes because if you set this then the color is not going to turn out as bright so I'm hoping that I can get the color To come out right now. I'm not a professional, but I do makeup how I like it. And you don't have to be a professional to do it. Yes, if you're a professional and you do it, um, your eye looks come out amazing. My eyes are so red now because I got tons of powder and everything on there. Um, but makeup is an art, it's fun. You have fun. And if you mess up, you wipe it off and do it again. So, so let's get into this a Charles James Charles. I don't know why I want to call him Charles James James Charles's palette. Now, I don't know. Let me move this up, and I may be able, can tell you the colors that way. But hmm, I want to do like a purpley pink but I know I do that all the time so I think I may do a blue and maybe add some pinks so the first color that I am going to put on my eye I want to kind of do a lightest to medium to dark um, I am going to use this color right here first and that color let me see if I can get it I believe is playground so we're gonna dip my brush in playground right there okay whoops stay so let me get a blending brush because we gotta blend her out people if I can find the right size. 
Um, let me see if I can find one in here. That is a really good. Here, we use this one. Now, I have some exciting videos coming up. One is a review video, and um, a review video, and um, cannot wait to do the unboxing for that and show you what I got to review. So. We want to put it on ice. Whoops. I want to blend it out, blend it up. And yes. Some of you guys aren't brave enough to do this, or you wouldn't um, go out looking like this. I'm gonna kind of put it out like that. Okay, this is fun. And I've seen like the bigger YouTubes, YouTubers. It needs to do these really pretty blue eye looks. Ooh. And yes, mine's not gonna look exactly. I wish I could be so good at it and make it look like what they do. Cause that would be really, really cool. I just like makeup, period. I know there's a few people who want to do a swap with me. And I actually know them. Um, one of them, I asked her to email me. That, Brianna, if you're watching this, please email me. You still want to do a makeup swap. And then there's another person who wants to do like a... Sorry about that guys, my thing um, went out. It's probably because it reached its limit. But um, if if the people who want to do this um, swap and everything like that, please get a hold of me so then we can talk about it. I haven't done a swap for ages. For ages. And, um. And I would love to do it again. So, let me bring you up a little bit. If you allow me to zoom in. I'm using my camera thing. Nope. It won't allow me to zoom up like, um. The other one. So, but I will show you. This is what it looks like so far. Very pretty. I really, 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 really want the Jeffree Star blue, um, blue blood palette. I try to go on, um, it was called Polly, Polly Princess. And I swear when I had checked it the, not yesterday, day before, it, they had it. So then when I went on the third to go get it it said it was sold out that makes me so mad because I really want that palette like I have all of his palettes except that one 
Um, I like the formula of them. They're really, um, they're really, really, really nice. I'm going to take this brush right here. I don't not know. I can't see the brand, but this is an eye blending brush. But yeah, I really want his um, palette because I just like the formula of them and they're just really amazing. Okay. The next one I want is this one right here. I'm going to put it like in my crease and that one is called Brother. Okay. Whoops. Now some of these are pigments. I think mostly they are pigments. And so you have to like, pigments work different than eyeshadows. You kind of like have to pat it. Like. Like pat it in there. I may have to get a different brush. Let me, let me try this one. Try this one. I like this, um, Mike. Uh, I feel that people who have that are hearing impaired are able to hear me now. Um, which I'm happy because the people who are hearing impaired have told me that it sounds so much better than what it did and they can hear me because they're is most of the time I do um, talk softly. I've always done that, like talk softly, and um, and even in school, the teachers couldn't understand what I was saying because I did have speech issues, and I still do. And they would always have, tr they couldn't like clearly understand me until about 11th grade. And all the other times, um, they would always say, what are you saying? I can't understand you. But see, like in my head, I knew what I was saying, but when it came out, they just didn't understand. And I had some teachers that were re really, really nice that um, took the time to understand. And, and of course, my mom was a big advocate for me and went in and told the teachers. Like, in first grade, I had to get glasses, okay? And I didn't get the cute glasses. My stepmom always picked out these ugly big thick glasses but when her kids needed glasses they got the nice ones and back then they did have nice ones but they didn't want to um let us have the nice ones so Oops. But, um, anyway, so in first grade, I had Miss Mendocino. I really loved her. She would, I think she would volunteer at the animal shelter, but she was a big Steelers fan. And, and see, I couldn't see the board real well. And this was before I had glasses. So they would put things in front of me that was on the board so I can see it. And so 
and they helped me out because I couldn't talk until I was at six and a half. And that's because I was born early. If I wasn't born early, I don't think I would have... Speech. This one eyeshadow looks like it has glitter in it. Like the blue that I put in there. Unless that's the... I think that's the... It really doesn't have glitter in it. I think that's the pearl. This stuff. Because this does have like a glitter. But this is... Let me show you. what it looks like like a mermaid okay should I put a little pink I'll go in with the dark hmm kind of like it how it is maybe I'll go in with the dark and the dark one I'm going to be using I believe it is cola. This one right here. So we will go in there. Ooh. Always tap your brush. And go like kind of right in here to make it a little darker. Just make it a little darker. That's really pretty. Now I'm going to like kind of carve out my eyes right here. Um, thought I saw a really, really. I'm going to use <gasps> Ooh. Use this brush. I want to take a little bit of concealer. If I can find what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer and carve out my eyes so then when the next color I put down, it will look really, really pretty. And you don't need that much. So I put it on the back of my hand. It just makes it look cleaner. Why is that like that? I don't know. It like cleans it up. Let me need a little bit more. Oh, did I tell you guys that big one found a rabbit's nest? Which I never knew there was a rabbit's nest out there. And he killed a baby bunny. So we thought, I went out there to go look. The night that he did that, I'm like, oh, the bunny is okay. He ran away. Well, I didn't see him. Because it's super dark. And where, where it was at, we... The light isn't really good. You can't see nothing. I had my phone as a light. And I still um, couldn't see it. So in the morning, it was so cute too. It's about like that big. 
and it was like had a brownish gray fur and it was the last bunny because we went and checked and I don't know how this dog big one could find it he can't even jump up on the bed he's going blind but he can Miraculously catch a bun baby bunny. Little one's not the one that caught it. It was um big one. Uh I hold on a second. Shoot. Let me fix that. Um, I never knew Pomeranians do that at all. I never knew that. And now, ever since he's caught it, he thinks, um, he can go out there and he always keeps on looking. for it so they're out there now at least they're out there and they're not barking Whew. okay so the next color that I'm going to do it's called mm, Cape Cod I believe I am going to put Cape Cod on my eye and then I'm going to do a halo effect and use one of these um, golds. Maybe I use a purple as a halo. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the concealer and I'm going to dip in this halo. Uh, Maybe I should do some little glitter glue. Oh, I'm going to do a little glitter glue. Because it will help it. Um, stick on your eye better. Because this is for glitter. And it's really, really good. So we're going to do one eye first. Try this again. I'm going to pat it down on here. It's not as... See, it's supposed to... To me, like on the pan, maybe it's not like a glit, like, you know, a sparkly eyeshadow. So. I'll put a, um. A sparkly one. I cannot believe that James Charles has been on um, the internet as long as I have for about three years and he has succeeded so much people I'm like 
why don't I have, um, like, how many, like, 15 million he ha people he has? It's, like, crazy. Like, I don't know how some of these people, this is in my opinion, you guys can be on the same, on YouTube, the same, um, time, like, three years, two years, and there are people on there that, um, that are have grown into the millions or hundreds of thousands and I just don't understand that I guess for this glitter one this light blue one You have to pat it on. So I'm gonna. Um, ugh. Add some more. On this side, let me add just a little bit of glitter glue. So then, let me take this. Okay. Okay, so then I can um, add some more. It kind of reminds me of Cinderella, my eyes. You people may not think so, but I do. Because of the collars. You guys have any plans for the um, weekend? I don't, not really. I've been going to doctors and everything. So, that's been that. Um, now I'm going to do my under eyes right here. Let me get a... Do I got a small... This is a Morphe M455. It's like a little pencil. I am going to take... Um, the white first. The white is called... I think Flashback. Did I get any on there? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, um, she didn't know one. I had the Hold on, let me go get him. Uh, little one, come here. What? 
big one's probably still outside. So there it is under my eye. Now let's do the other side. Lay down this color. I hate when you have wrinkles underneath your eyes and then you try to put powder there and then it sh really shows your wrinkles. But that's okay. Just make up. At the end of this video, I will do another video showing you the close-up. And, and I'm going to put my wig on. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take, um, is this it? Is this the one I want? Yes. I'm going to take ring light, which is this color right here. And I'm going to, um... I'm gonna um, kind of highlight my um, eyebrow bone. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, let me do my eyebrows first and then highlight them. I think it would be easier if I did that. So we're gonna brush them. Now I been doing my eyebrows which I have some hairs right there that need to be come off okay There are some hairs that need to be gone. I've been plucking them. And so I need to, um... Pluck them. I wish, like, once you plucked your eyebrows, um, maybe I should start doing my eyebrows, making them go up, because then it can make it look like it's fuller.
Okay. Not done, people, so. Not done, okay. Now let's highlight under my makes it look a little prettier the boys are enjoying it out there they like communicating with the neighbor dog so I highlighted it up there I think I may blend it a little bit let me see if I can get just a little bit up here so everything looks all nice and blended It just needs there is that now I am going I want to put a white eyeliner let me see if I have if I can find my white eyeliner um, Sorry about that, guys. My thing fell. I have a black. Now, now I have my white eyeliner. Let me see if I can find it. Because I want... I think white will look more prettier. Let me see if I can... Ooh. Let's see if this even works. Okay. Looks are Can't even see it. Hmm. I'll do it black. You can't hardly see it. Unless if ooh, ooh, I got a darker blue. Wonder what this looks like. So, oh, that's all waxy. doesn't really show up where's my black I'll just use my black eyeliner what did I do with it yeah we'll just go with black Like I said, I will, um,
like I said, I'll do a um, video at the end so that you can see what it, the final look is. Oh, here's my white. I found my white. One I like. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put this white. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama. And I'm going to put it in my waterline. Because it will brighten up my waterline. My eyes are watering. They're all red. Okay. Now we're going to take a brush. Uh, and sweep away all this powder. <laughs> Just sweep it away. And before we do my other makeup, and by putting a lot of uh, setting powder right there, it will help collect any fallout that you have. So we'll close this. Okay. Ooh, that's so refreshing. Where's my fan? Did it fall? Oh, here it is. That feels so good on your face after you do your makeup. Now, I see I don't look that bad after doing all that. Um, I am going to put down contour. When I get to my lashes, I'll go off camera, put them on, and then come back on. So I'm going to take my um, Tarte Pr Princess Avenue. Love this palette. Um, it smells so good. It smells like chocolate. And I'm going to use this color right here. And we... And dip in it. Whoops. It's gonna be like a light contour. to me it's not as harsh as it normally is um where is my makeup wipes let me wipe my hands off Oops. next we are going to go with a blush i wish i kind of had like a um a bluish like blush but i do not so 
wipe my hands off. Okay, so the blush, I am going to be using this Milani 901 Rose. I like Milani's br um, brush blushes. They're really, really um, nice. I'm gonna take this Lexi Small Contour Lexi 512. Even though it's a contour, I'm using it as a as a blush brush. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's on there. Like in person you can tell, but I don't think you can tell on camera, but it's there. I could probably always put a little bit of this on. Sorry guys. That's better. Okay, um, now highlighter. Now I was going to use this NYX uh, Away We Glow, but this is a liquid and it's kind of hard to use it if you already have powder on. So I am going to use, where's my one? Because I, I know, let me put this over here here we'll try this one this is the tribe highlighter volume 3 by Juvia's place I like this highlighter because I want the main focus to be on my eyes and not like my rest of my face okay and this is a really 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 pretty highlighter um, just need a highlighter brush, highlighter brush, um, here's one, this is the Morphe 509 one, so we, we'll put some on, um, let's see how it do. Okay, we're gonna put some on. And I'm gonna spray it with my Fix Plus. So then. <coughs> that is gorgeous, guys. So it's hard to, to do one side, but it's there. It's really pretty. Okay. Next, I'm going to do mascara. I have two mascaras here. I have the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash, and then I have the Voluminous lash paradise i'm going to use both of them i'm first going to use this one 
Almost done, guys. Almost done. I'm going to show you. Ah. Are recorded. This mascara make your eyes go, your lashes go out. It's really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to take this, and then I will be right back. I'm going to put on some lashes. Ooh. Off camera. Because they take me forever to put on. And then... I'll be back. Now, I would do my bottom lashes, but I really don't have any. Um, I don't know why. I know some people have really long, pretty ones. So, um, I'm not going to um, do that. I'm going to, let me get my lip. I am first am going to put this Kiss Me lip of Gl Glamour Chino. It's like a grayish. I'm going to put another color. All right. My lips are really dry. I need to exfoliate them. I think that kind of looks good like that. But I'll be right back. And then we finish the lip. So let me go get these lashes on. And I'll be right back and show you the final look. Hello everyone. I, here is the final look. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see my eyes. And let me bring you in. Ooh. So here is the final look. I'm going to add one little special thing. I'm going to take the Too Faced uh, Matte Milton um, Latex. It's in Unicorn Tears. And I'm going to put some of that in the center of my lips. I absolutely love this stuff because it looks purple when it comes out but then it turns into a blue it looks silver 
Mm. On camera, but it's not. I'll see if I can get you closer. So this is what it looks like. I love this wig. I want. I'm gonna straighten it. I'm not gonna cut everything. I just need to straighten it. Um. So. So let me. So this is the final look using the Morphe X James, Char yeah, James Charles's palette. Hope you like it. Thank you everyone who has joined to watch this video. I hope you enjoy this video and I love you guys and remember to subscribe to the Butterfly Clubhouse to become a beautiful butterfly. I will see you in the next video and talk to you later. Bye. There's my nails. <laughs> Bye.